Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back to All About Jamie once again. Many of you have asked me for a particular vlog for years, and I know I haven't done it. What vlog is that? So, it is actually a house tour. The main reason why I haven't done a house tour is because of security reasons. But I think you guys know that I would be moving out of this house soon. So this is the time for me to do that house tour. And by the time this vlog is out, I would already have moved. I have been really, really swamped and busy with renovations of my new house. And of course, packing my entire life to get my ass out of this house. I've been living in this house for the last 13 years and you guys can just imagine 13 years of my life here. I think I have kind of hoarded a lot of stuff. It is a good time to spring clean. My motto is anything that I have not looked for for the last year, throw it out. The reason why I am going to move out of this house is because my children are no longer staying in this house and it is getting a little bit too big with many wasted spaces that I cannot utilize because this house is specifically for like a family. My children really want me closer to them. Both of them find that it would be nice if we could all live around the same place, especially Callista. She has been the one that really, really convinced me to make this decision on the location of my move. She said that, you know, mommy, if you are not going to move near us this time, you're never going to do that. So can you please, you know, please move closer to us and they live in this beautiful neighborhood, of course. Yes, yeah, so I got myself a lakeside bungalow and it is just like two streets away from my children, which is perfect. I'm practically starting from scratch. I have torn everything down. The interior and exterior are completely going to be refurbished. I have been working on it for months with my architect and my designers and I hope to bring you guys a very very amazing house tour in a couple of months. It's going to be a very very different vibe from this house. I love this house but it has got too much glass. It's basically like a whole glass house. You can imagine how I've been struggling with lighting, um, shooting videos and pictures in a glass house. It's really hard. Yes, I'm so excited that I'm going to build my dream house to my own exact specifications. And it's going to be something that I really, really love and could call it my own design, my own preference. And yes, I am so looking forward to it. Let's get this final house tour going. So let's start from the outside of the house. So this is my absolute beloved Mayer lemon tree right here. I've got some <clears throat> pink roses here. And of course all my roses and my beloved plants are going to come with me. Welcome to my home. A little bit on this photo screen right here. So this photo screen actually has pictures of all my amazing moments, my travel moments, my favorite ones. Let's go to the backyard right now. Where my chickens are. And of course, they're coming with me. So this is my little mini farm. My silky chickens, they will be coming with me as well. This 
is my favorite part of the house, which is the garden. So let's um, move on to my banana tree right here. Something that I cannot move. <laughs> I won't be moving the banana tree, but I have already started a new one for the new home. Um, I started a papaya tree right here as well. So this is my bitter gourd right here. My custard apple. These fruits are impossible to buy outside. And of course, I'm going to have a rose garden in my new home. Whenever I feel stressed, I just need to take a walk in the garden, which is why the garden is really special. I have my lemon mitral tree. I'm rooted from the ground because I cannot find another lemon mitral tree. For some strange reasons in Singapore, they do not sell these trees anymore. Got a little pond back there. I created this whole little area um, during the pandemic when we were locked down at home, and it has really brought me a lot of comfort. My family loves to spend time here. And when the kids come home, they usually chill with me here over a glass of wine. Finally, some serious air conditioning. So here is my wine cellar. Frankly, I don't know how I'm going to be moving all my wines. Yeah, I'm not going to lose sleep on it. Let's hope and fingers crossed that everything will go well and nothing gets broken in the moving process. Nothing much to talk about it except that these are my like uh, favorite champagnes, favorite wines. This cellar is going to be one of my biggest headache for the move. And after that, it would be my handbags and my shoes and my jewelry. Speaking about kitchens, I have a very simple kitchen in this house. In my new place, it's going to be something really impressive. Also, I hope it will be uh, because I'm entertaining a lot more at home and my girlfriends, they just love to come and chill. We thought that, uh, you know, having this uh, beautiful open space kitchen would be great for house parties. So this is my very modest kitchen. This is the powder room for my guests. Where I like to put my favorite perfumes inside so that they can freshen up. on the dining table which is why the dining area is um, one of the areas that I take particular care of when I'm designing my new home. This is the area that my friends and I spend the most time in. I love to decorate my home with lots of candles and flowers, plants because I feel that it brings such a cozy ambiance. was actually a study area for the kids when they were young. They have their tuition here. After that, I turn it into like a home office. But right now, it is like a spa room. I get my massages, my lash extensions, and all my beauty services right here on this bed. Because I'm moving, so there's a lot of things here. So what used to be a movie room, it has now become a storeroom of sorts. I have bicycles, my backdrops and oh my god, what not, let's go. Nothing to see. Here's a little gallery of my pictures um, from magazines before. So right down this hallway are bedrooms. Used to be Callista's, Cleveland's and a guest room right down this hallway and I find that it would be perfect if I could connect my own bedroom with the rest of the bedroom but unfortunately due to the design and where the staircase is I simply could not find a way to connect all these bedrooms into one huge closet for myself yeah it's just the way the design is and which is why I think that is also one of the reasons that prompted 
me to get a new house instead so that I could have a one bedroom house. So this is the lounging area that is in my bedroom. I like to have my breakfast here if it's not in the garden. So lately I've been spending a lot of time here drawing out my new closet configuration which is like here in this book and these papers it's really very specific and well my brains are kind of fried from this whole designing but yeah I think it's going to be worth it in this um, little closet it is a huge safe which of course I'm not bringing because there's no way I don't think it's even possible to move it it's super big and super heavy so let's not even think about it for some reason I've got like many many big safes in this house and on the second floor which makes it impossible to even think of moving them so yes buy safe I'm sure all of you are very very familiar with my bedroom by now I'm going to take you guys on a very quick tour around it for some of the corners that poss possibly have not been seen so yes let's get to it I'm going to show you guys what I have on my bedside table as well I just stash all my daily essentials here's a box of face mask for days when I am dressed up and going out so I like to use this case face mask I have a color to match every outfit my camera is right here I really cannot afford to have to take care of these delicate porcelain dolls so I have moved them already that's why you see all these empty spaces so this is what I have on my bedside you see that I have some crystals right here my hand cream I know it seems like I have this massive skincare thing going on here and lip balms, hand creams etc I actually use the skincare that is meant for my face on my hands as well I feel that at my age I should try to use better products on my hands as well because they are aging as much as the rest of my body that's why I have all these whole vanity table situation next to my bed one of them is deep relief I use it every night to just release the stress on my neck and shoulders I have so many lip balms here because everybody sends me all these products that are amazing I can't decide which of them are more amazing than the other so I rotate them I keep oils like face oils and this is my vanity situation uh, right here there are many 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 things in this vanity area that is why I am building a vanity room in my new house which will properly house all my products nicely neatly in the most organized manner it is actually a tiny room by itself and I figured that I need that because I do spend quite a bit of time on my vanity table and it is a worthwhile investment for me to create curate room by itself I call it my glam room when I first moved in I obviously don't have 1001 products to put on my vanity table so I probably have like 5 eyeshadows, 10 lipsticks not so much skincare but these days yes I do enjoy trying many many different types of skincare due to me being a content creator and of course 1000 perfumes and 2000 lipsticks going on right here have a look
one pair of lips 2000 lipstick one face 20 foundations one pair of eyes and 1000 palettes that is the amazing situation that I'm stuck in. Totally not complaining at all. That's what being a girl is all about. So this is the area that I keep some of my other branded designer bags that are non-MS. I couldn't put them all together. There was just absolutely no space. So I created this little corner to house some of my other designer bags. I'm sure this is one of the areas that most of you guys are very familiar with right now and a place that needs no introduction the JC amazing closet oh my god but one last look at the closet we also love I'm gonna miss it I hope that the one I'm creating right now is going to be better I am going to miss this house tour on my channel if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do and leave me your comments on what other videos that you like to see me do I will try to fulfill them it's going to be a final goodbye to this home let's move on for new beginnings and I'm so excited to share my new life with all of you sad to leave this closet sad to leave the home but let's all look forward positively to new beginnings really excited about it like finally 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 I was like so happy to get out of here but I think I need a new vibe in a new fresh surrounding it is going to do me so much good and make me feel all inspired again so guys wish me good luck see you in my next video Bye.